All right, guys, so I got this one done. Um, so for this one, I didn't record anything. I was trying to figure it out, how to put it myself. Save a little time for tomorrow when I do the installation. Um, everything is smooth, the brackets, everything's on. So now, let's do the other one. Alright guys, so the the seats the seats come with the, with the sliders. Should be really easy to uh, to install. It's four bolts with spacers, and this is a 5.5. This part and this part, so you want to have the gap to put the screw underneath. So you're gonna have to slice it over like one inch down until you have the gap space there, and that's it. Um, we're gonna need this is a 13, uh, it says one and a half. I don't know what it does to say the number, but it's a 13. And six Allen key to grab the screw on the knee and then tie it up with the 13. Let's do it. All right, so this is how it goes. Grab the screw, put it under, then you put the washer, okay, and then the nut. Don't over tie, just put it hand tight. You got the four of them together. Like this, you can center. You don't want to put it too down, too all the way up. So you want to just leave it there, hand tie, to do the rest. Let's go. All right, moment is through. As you saw, I used the box as support to start the seats. So now the brackets are on. Let's see if it is working. See? There you go, we're good to go. There you go, we're ready, let's do it. All right, uh, now it's time to remove the factory seats. So we're gonna have two bolts in the front. Yeah, let's see, you can focus. Come on, come on. Yeah, you got this one right here. Yeah. And then another one here. Yeah. Two plus with a 14. And then you have two more in the back. And that's it. The seat should be easy to remove. Right. 
So, some struggle in there. When I thought I got it out easy, I forgot to have an electrical seat and this actually our heating seat. So, I got the camera. So I forgot to remove those wires on the seat. It's three plugs, all right? So remember that if you have electrical and heating seats in your car. can see the difference right difference in everything different weight yeah that that factory see like I hurt my back getting it out of there it's really heavy because of the motor inside and look at this look at the difference big change in weight Hey guys, guess what? We got them. As you can see here, I was worried about the bracket not being probably the exact one, but this guy's from, what's the name? Plantec. They're really good. They send it exactly for my car. You can see right there, it's not bolt on yet. But you can see, it's right there. Hold in place and if you can see right there it's on play as well so we're good to go to use the 14 wrench because um, the other one you got no space there to work on but one of these the 14 it should be easy to go and reach it inside and just start turning up okay yeah hey guys this upgrade is worth it man you're good I'm not, see uh, the position, not too low, too high. Got plenty of space on my head. So just fine. The size, I, I love the size of the, uh, the design of this size right here. You got me that feeling of when I'm driving the type R, this racing seat that you hold you in place, you go taking on the curve or something like, you can really secure, same as the shoulders. Oh man, can't wait. Let's do the other side now. All right guys, seats are on. Just finished styling the passenger seat. Look. Perfectly fit. Brackets, everything. Everything. For the price, this is really good. Really good upgrade, in my opinion. Everything was perfect. Everything reclined, everything slides forward, backward. Like really nice.
Now we're gonna to install the harness bar. We're gonna uh, remove the factory seatbelt. Again, we see now 14. This is what you're gonna use most for most of the installation. Uh, let's do it. Something I noticed is that the harness bar come with a bolt and there's space in there, but you see the difference. Let's see if you can get it right next to it. See, it's still like kind of short. This is not the right There you go. There. That's the right. See the bolt there, the thread. So I'm gonna reuse the factory ones. So it'll be perfect. So here I was loosening the mounting bracket to reach the passenger seat bracket. Then you do the same thing on the driver's side to make them both even by using the 17. This side goes attached to the chassis of the car. And this side goes attached to the passenger seat. Over here, I use a 14 milliliter socket and a 14 wrench on each side to tie both sides. Use the same process on the other side. Right, so to get this loose, and now uh, what you do is uh, use a scissor or a blade, and you cut it from inside. It was, you know, um, take your time, do it nice and smooth, and then you just um, remove this right here. This is the part that was attached. Now, the thing you gotta do is push it. This part will come loose. And that's it, you don't need this anymore. All right, so to attach the seat belt, the brackets. So you're gonna use the same bolt that holds the seat bracket under right here with a 14 as well. You wanna hold it up right here. And that's it, turn it up and you're done. All right, guys, everything is set up. Harness bar, racing seats, racing seat belts. Everything's fine. Um, you're gonna have to improvise, figuring this out, but everything works. I didn't have to get extra parts. We'll set. Work, tie it up, I want to. Everything, it move. It's nice, it's tight. Alright guys, hope you like the video, subscribe.